My name is DeCosta Jenkins. I'm president and CEO of Nashville Electric Service, and let me welcome you to the groundbreaking ceremony for Music City Solar. It's an exciting time for Nashville. Before I get started, I think um, in addition to Mayor Megan Berry and Council Lady Van Reese, I think Freddie O'Connell is here. Freddie, would you raise your hand? Hey, it's. Are there any other elected officials here? Just want to make sure, want to make sure if you be recognized. So Music City Solar is a community initiative. Let me thank Mayor Berry and Aaron Hafkenshield and the staff in the mayor's office the Tennessee Valley Authority, and particularly Jay Stowe and Jimmy Allen, Council Lady Nancy Van Rees, Ellen Lehman and the Community Foundation, Metro Public Works, Metro Finance, uh, Carla, uh, Carla Gerald, Rob McCabe, and Beth Deering with Pinnacle, Jim Smith and Lee Blank with Regions Bank, Ronald Roberts, Lisa Budden, and our group from DVLS, and a special thanks to Sylvia Smith and her team. Sylvia, would you raise your hand, be recognized? <laughs> so when you talk about Music City Solar, that's the face of Music City Solar. Thank you, Sylvia. <laughs> and so all of her team, when y'all raise your hand, be, be recognized also, all of you guys that were part of the NES team. So what are we doing? NES is building a two megawatt solar park on this property. It will consist of 17,200, 117.5 watt solar panels. Now why are we doing this? Because Mayor Barry has a vision for protecting and enhancing Nashville's livability and environmental quality. To move that vision forward, Mayor Barry convened the Livable Nashville Committee the Livable Nashville Committee was chaired by Walker Matthews and my good friend Beth Pritchett Gear, and also the chairman of the Energy Subcommittee, Dodd Galbraith. I saw he's here, Dodd. <laughs> One of the sizzle recommendations coming from the Livable Nashville Committee was to build a two megawatt solar park. And while I was recognizing people, I didn't notice that one of the NES board members, Ms. Irma Paz Bernstein is here. Thank you for coming, Irma. <laughs> so who can participate? All NES customers. It works for anyone, including renters, condo owners, and those with homes not suitable for rooftop installation. When Aaron and I first talked about this project, Aaron shared with me that Mayor Barry wanted low-income customers to have an opportunity to participate in the program. Ellen Lehman and I of the Community Foundation, we met to discuss this exciting opportunity, and from those discussions came the idea of the Solar Angel Program. The Solar Angel Program allows for an individual or corporation to make a one-time gift to the Community Foundation. The Community Foundation will use the proceeds to purchase subscriptions and the output from the panels will assist low-income customers as a credit to their monthly utility bills. The Solar Angel program is not like any other program in the country, another first for the IT city. Now we could not accomplish this without a strong partnership with NES and TVA. Jay Stowe is the Senior Vice President of Distributed Energy Resources for TVA. I've known Jay for a number of years. Jay was formerly the CEO at Huntsville Utilities. Jay committed to me early on that he would find a way to make this project work within the constraints imposed on TVA. One of Jay's finest qualities is that he's a man of his word. So I'm going to ask Jay to say a few words about this exciting program. Thank you, Jay. So um, first of all, thank you very much for um, allowing us to be here to celebrate with you uh, because this is really your community's uh, solar project. Uh, I think the um, biggest debate that I had was what, how do I refer to DJ because I respect him enough to call him Mr. Jenkins, but I consider him a friend and it's a great opportunity and a great honor for me to be here with you. Um, this is, 
an exciting time because of the way that this community has come together uh, to, to do this. And DJ uh, and NES and the staff at NES are leaders not only in the renewables side of this business and not only in the Nashville area, in the TVA area, but also in the nation. Uh, and so I am very pleased uh, to be here. Uh, things are changing around here. The uh, work between NES and, and the Metro has uh, created an opportunity to be able to do this and to, to be visible and to be a part of this community for a long time. And the, the Solar Angel program just adds to that. Uh, so it is quite an honor for, for me to be here. TVA is going to be a partner in this uh, project that is really the local community's project. TVA is committed to working with this area and others across the valley for uh, renewable programs. And since 2011, uh, TVA has facilitated and worked to install more than 400 megawatts of solar capacity. We currently have more than 1,700 megawatts of renewable energy under contract and over 3,300 installed solar systems on small-scale renewable programs. We're committed to continue that investment and continue to work with uh, all of our local power companies like uh, NES to keep on doing this. We're uh, working to drive down our carbon dioxide emissions, and this is one of the programs that's going to help that. Mostly, though, this is the, about a partnership. It's a partnership between the community, the partnership between uh, TVA, NES, uh, and the support that we're going to provide and you all are going to provide for uh, low income while doing this. So TVA's mission of service drives us to make lives better for the people of the valley, just like your mission of service drives you to improve the lives of the people of the metro area. And we're going to keep on working on low cost energy, uh, protecting our environmental resources and focusing on true economic development true economic development that brings jobs and technology advancement, de development that makes companies want to be here. And this type of project is the type of project that will make companies want to be here. So this is consistent with what TVA's mission has been for 85 years. We look forward to making more renewable programs and projects available as our local power companies and NES see ways to move forward with this. Nashville doesn't look like it did 10 years ago. It doesn't look like it did yesterday with the growth that's going on. TVA doesn't look that way either. And we're continue to serve the Valley and to work in close partnership with uh, DJ, your staff, and the team here. So thank you very much for letting us be here. Jay, I just want to thank you personally and also thank TVA for you know, participating in this partnership. Couldn't have done this without you. I have mentioned the Solar Angel program and the partnership with the Community Foundation. So I'm going to ask Ellen Lehman if she would come and share her thoughts on this exciting program. Very carefully, I loaded into my car today my reading glasses, and there they remain. <laughs> <clears throat> if I stumble, more than usual. Oh, thank you. That would be an, a very nice offer, but maybe my arms will just grow. Um, the commu this community is working on many fronts to help our residents move from poverty to prosperity. We see that in the quest for more affordable housing, for more accessible transit, for more educational opportunities for babies, and as a result, their parents, for creating a pathway to jobs and then a career by in introducing youth 14 to 24 to the workplace through internships, and for helping Nashvillians move from the analog age to the digital age by making sure all of our neighbors have access to devices, internet connectivity, training, and support. Each of these, however, can only be accomplished through partnerships like the one we are here today to bring to life. And each of those already in, um, include partnerships between the Community Foundation and Metro government. The Solar Angel Fund is intended to support charitable initiatives to promote the community's use of renewable energy resources to help people attain and maintain stable and affordable housing. 
The Solar Angel Fund is collecting fully tax-deductible gifts to help supply renewable energy to members of this community. We at the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee um, and our partners in government and at NES ask that you support the creation of this opportunity for our neighbors in need and invest in new sources of power that will help protect the beauty of our community we have all chosen to call home. On behalf of the generations which will benefit, we thank you for caring and we thank you for coming out today. Site selection for a project of this magnitude was very important. Enes is excited about this location and being a part of this community. We were fortunate that Metro Council Member Nancy Van Rees was a key advocate from the start and has been an invaluable member of the Music City Solar Team. And we're glad that she's here today. I'll ask her to share a few thoughts and also to introduce the mayor. Thank you so much. I, I wasn't counting, but the word community came up a lot. And uh, that's where you are right now, is in a community. Um, the number one employer in District 8 is HCA Skyline. Uh, we're proud of them and more than happy that they capped the landfill for us during their construction. <laughs> um, you're looking at 40 years of this land sitting here while people drove by, wondering what it was, memories from people who used to remember it being a landfill. Uh, you may have noticed you actually had a sidewalk to walk down here. It's because it leads to uh, the historic Bayshaw Cemetery, which has been in disrepair for a while. Mr. Bayshaw was a Revolutionary War soldier whose family is buried there as well. Um, over 30 graves have been identified. Being able to um, look at how they use the land and how we are now using the land is nothing less than poetic, really. So it's, it's exciting to me to be able to let you know that the family's um, descendants in Virginia send their greetings. So uh, I am uh, particularly um, wanted to, to make note that the Madison Rivergate Chamber of Commerce is unfortunately unable to be here today, but they offer their full support and welcome the new uh, development here as well. It's a, great ditty, uh, it's a great day for the city of Nashville and a great day for Madison. Uh, Madison begins at Briley Parkway, so we consider this Madison. Um, if you were um, to count the population in this zip code, you'd count 40,000 souls. That would be the 14th largest city in the state of Tennessee. And we love to use electricity. <laughs> Uh, one of the exciting things as well is now that we're in the Urban Service District, uh, NES is going to be installing uh, over a thousand new streetlights uh, in the new USD District and 400 are underway in my district, I understand. Uh, so I'm very, very excited about that. It's about energy and it's about momentum and that's what District 8 has been about, the momentum. As you look at the Northeast Corridor, we've been able to see firsthand the mayor's promise of extending prosperity to the county line. It is moving this way. Um, in the last two and a half years, we've been able to add just about 1,200 new homes uh, ready to be built here in District 8, all on open land, not a single teardown. And 262 of them are affordable. We're very proud of that, and we're going to continue to strive for that. What a better site for a rebirth of renewable energy than a landfill. It's been used um, not so much, but we're going to be able to use it now. We're honored for Music City Solar to be here, to be home right now. The only, uh, not only will the people of Nashville be able to take advantage of the clean energy generated from the solar park, the benefits to the community will be seen for years to come. Music City Solar will also feature a community park at park, and uh, those with the uh, um, Nashville Parks, I believe, are here. Yes, thank you for coming. Uh, both Nashville um, 
Metro Parks and Metro Historic have been a, a big key player in regard to this. It will be a destination for students who want to see firsthand how renewable energy impacts Middle Tennessee through a lookout and education panels. It will also be a site for the community to come together to celebrate Nashville's stewardship of our natural resources. I'm very excited about um, the ability to be able to take a landfill and actually make something of it. Um, there's nothing more exciting um, that's happening in Madison right now than this opportunity today. On behalf of the citizens of Madison, I want to thank NES, the TVA, and of course the mayor and all the partners that made this happen for our city. Thank you very much. I'd like to now introduce uh, my friend, Mayor Megan Berry. So welcome, and Nancy, thank you. I, I think that you can look at, at Nancy Van Reese and her leadership on Metro Council as absolutely embracing the idea of Yimbyism. Yes, in my backyard. Yes, I want a solar farm. Yes, I want more affordable housing. Yes, I want prosperity for the people who live in Madison in my community. So Nancy, thank you for all your hard work on the council. I know we're also joined by uh, Freddie O'Connell, also uh, Freddie also embraces those ideas as well. So Freddie, it's good to have you here. I want to thank a whole lot of people who worked to make this happen. Um, I know we've already recognized some of them, but I have to tell you, you can never thank somebody too much when they actually get up every day and get it done. And that's what the folks here do. Uh, NES President and CEO, DJ, DaCosta Jenkins. How many years have you been there? A lot? A lot. He's been getting up there a lot and doing this for a long time. Uh, Jay Stowe and, of course, his team over at TVA. It, it's a little funny when you were saying the word the valley. You kept talking about the valley, and I forget that, of course, we're in a valley, apparently. And, of course, to Ellen Lehman and her staff at the Community Foundation and, of Middle Tennessee. Uh, I'm also joined today by Aaron Haffenshield, who is in my office, who, uh, who leads this effort uh, on a daily basis. And Monique Odom from Parks is also with us. So uh, thank you. It is a great day. This is a big community solar project. And it is a big community project with the emphasis on helping our low-income residents uh, with energy efficiency and with weatherization. Uh, this was a recommendation that came out of the Liable, Livable Nashville Committee. I can, Livable Nashville Committee. Uh, Livable Nashville is the group that I appointed to look at ways that we could increase Nashville's sustainability and to keep us on that path that we have committed to, to becoming the greenest city in the South uh, East. And that, those recommendations uh, had a lot of recommendations. Uh, we recommended that we increase the amount of energy that we get from renewables by 30% by the year 2030. Uh, which is a goal that cities have to meet uh, to prevent the devastating impacts of climate change. How many of you in this room believe in climate change? I do. Uh, the members of the, thank you, the members of the Liberal Nashville Committee, com Committee also know that our community has to increase reliance on renewable forms of energy uh, so that we can reduce those greenhouse gases um, and reduce our imprint when we think about global warming. And cities are the ones that are going to have to be on the front line to make this happen. Cities are the ones that are stepping up. Cities are the ones that are saying, we are in the thick of this battle, and it's our responsibility. And Nashville is no exception. We have absolutely stepped up. I'm also really pleased to announce that Metro General Services uh, is going to lead by example by purchasing 510 solar panels. And we're joined today by Nancy Whittemore, who's the Director of General Services. Nancy, thank you for leading. Those 510 solar panels are going to be enough to generate 84,660 kilowatt hours of green energy in one year. And that's going to replace 52 metric tons of carbon dioxide uh, that's now going up into our Earth's atmosphere. And that's the equivalent. Of course, you know I've got to bring it back to cars and transit, right? So that's the equivalent of 11.1 .1 cars off the road for an entire year. So if we didn't already have a great transit plan uh, in place, we were going to be able to buy even more uh, solar panels to cut down on traffic. Uh, you know, Music City Solar is absolutely a great example of what happens when a community comes together and these partnerships that we're talking about. Uh, look what's happening here in, in, in um, anticipation 
of clean solar energy. It's a great example of what happens when organizations actually listen uh, to customers and then go out and work really hard to deliver on that promise. So again, I appreciate all the efforts by Metro Government, NES, TVA, and all of our other partners who are here. Uh, we gotta keep it up though. This is just the start. We have to keep it up. We have to keep finding ways to increase our renewable energy portfolio, uh, to cut our greenhouse gas emissions, and to reduce costs for both our residents who are low income as well as our businesses, because ultimately the goal is this. We have to produce cleaner air for our great city because we are all breathing it and we only have one planet, we only have one earth, and we have to treat it with respect and great care and love. And I appreciate all that you all are doing to make that happen, so thank you. So Mayor Barry, I wanna thank you for your comments and your support. And this project will be one of the first steps in Nashville achieving your vision of being the greenest city in the Southeast. So let me thank each and every one of you for attending, attending the groundbreaking today. I hope you will consider purchasing panels and help make Nashville the greenest city in the Southeast. We have sign up sheets in the back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. This has been a service of the Metro Nashville Network. If you would like to see this presentation again, or for more information about this and other programs, visit nashville.org.